G'day and welcome to Duck Solid Gaming and another Farming Simulator 17 mod review. Today we are reviewing the Vermeer VR 1224 Rake. It's a combination wind rower and tether. Uh, thanks to Farmer Klein for putting me onto this mod. Um, it's available over at American Eagles Modding and it's uh, quite simply just put in for Vermeer or Rake and you'll find that there or go through the listing. And uh, it's a great little mod. It's, uh, we'll have a look at it first in the store. So head off to the store, into wind rowers, and there it is there, Vermeer. So there's not much details, $15 a day, 25 kilometers an hour usage uh, in, in use. Um, width is not listed or anything else like that. Now, it's, it's basically about a five to six meter width for the rake, there you go there, um, which isn't too bad, but it's, per it's perfectly suited for putting behind a big M for instance. Strangely enough, hence why I'm reviewing it. Um, but also along your single deck mowers. Um, I don't know how to go with your pottingers with the the single and the and the jewels, uh, the the butterflies. But um, certainly could have a look at that in a minute. All right, so uh, let's have a look at it in action. So I've got over here the smallest tractor we can possibly use. That's defaulting game, the old Hurleman. So we're going to see whether we have any issues with dragging this thing along using the Hurleman. So I'm going to hook him up. What we'll do though first is I'll uh, we'll fold and unfold the rake just so you can see it in operation. So we'll fold it back up. We'll look at it from the rear. So we are it's in its full folded position, nice and compact. So now if we unfold. The arms come down, extends out a little bit, and then we lower it, and there it is in its operating position. Turn the engine on, and then we can actually turn on the rake. Now, as you can see, even though it makes a sound as it's operating, it's not actually rotating until you actually move. Okay? So, um, yeah. Anyway, now the only other thing I found with this is, um, as I turn that off to minimise a bit of that sound, is uh, that with these bars at the front, when you're using it with the big M, unless you use the extended hitch, uh, it does sort of cut into the rear deck mowers. So um, if you're one for uh, realism, then I would uh, advise you always use the extended hitch with your big M. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. So we should have some grass up here that we can uh, take. As you can see, being my uh, my test map, there's um, grass and hay and straw everywhere. Um, so that's where we did the mod review on the the crones. All right, so there's no ready made. Oh, see, it's just down here. Some grass ready to go. All right, so for this line here. So all we gotta do, V to lower again, V to turn on, and away we go. So 25 kilometers an hour is supposed to be our speed. Let's bring up the uh, the HUD, and as you can see, the Hurleman there is quite happily charging along at 25 kilometers an hour, and we are tethering and wind rowing to our heart's content. So works as expected, fantastic. All right. Um, so as you can see, there's no errors there for the rake. It's the last line there on the log, so that's, that's good too. So good, stable little mod. And you wouldn't expect too much from this. I mean, it's, uh, it is fairly basic by comparison to a lot of others. But uh, it does the job. So what we'll do is we'll head back up here. And then we'll put it behind the, uh, the big M. And see how it responds with the big M. Uh, we'll also go over the... We've got a big pile of grass up here. And we'll just see how it handles that, just for the sake of it, because it's there. And uh, we might as well sort of showcase what it can do. Very basic, but I think this is going to be a, uh, a must-have tool in the uh, Lord of the Grass Shed. Because uh, even though we've used, I can't remember the name of the brand of it now, there was a, a small one that came out not so long ago, which was a combined uh, tether and wind rower. 
it uh, it had a lot of trouble in the turns. It would miss a lot of grass, all that sort of stuff. So um, this to me is a much, much better option. All right, so here we go. We're going to head over a big pile of grass and see how we go with that. Not a problem at all. The hurly wind didn't even skip a beat. So here we are. We're back with our big M. So now we'll um, we'll hook up and uh, we'll do it at first without the extended hitch just to sort of show you the issues you have so you'll notice there that in just hooking up it's going to cut through the back of the mower decks the rear mower decks okay obviously once we unfold both the mower and um, the rake they don't uh, collide like that however they do collide in the turn so as we can see, I'll just get rid of the HUD. Lower that down. We'll lower down. So you can see we're right at the at the extent edge of the extent with uh, those arms, and as soon as we turn, it cuts through the mower. Okay. So this is where I reckon for any sort of realism and just for better operation, as reality of it is, if the collisions were on, you wouldn't be turning at all. Uh, we just has it in that configuration. So I'll put the rear hitch on. Well, as we send that flying, sorry about that. And then once we put that on, it's not as bad. Although we do have the issue with turning, wanting to uh, go into the deck. I think that may just be a, uh, a speed thing with the turn. So uh, what we'll do, we'll just head up here and we'll give it a test run. So the rake's on. The big M's running. And we'll go through and we'll mow some grass. As you can see there, we're now mowing. And he's doing a fantastic job of wind rowing and tethering. Tethering and then wind rowing, technically. Uh, from the back of the big M. So... Sorry about the trees in the way. Um, turning is also always going to be an issue though, because uh, it doesn't want to turn so quick. So uh, I'm, I guess that really the idea would be slower turns. But, uh, but all in all, it works quite well. So we also went out and grabbed a uh, nice Volta with the Pottingers put on the front. So we're uh, we're going to check them out and just see how they uh, how they go and see whether the um, whether the Vermeer will actually cope with the width of the mower heads. I have a feeling it probably will, but uh, we'll just double check just to be sure. Okay, turn on the mower decks. Now away we go, zoom out a bit, and yep, look at that, not a problem at all. So if you're running the Pottingers or any configuration thereof, um, like you use the class version of these, uh, there's a John Deere set, um, then the width of the Vermeer will cope with that, so that's not a problem at all either. So there you have it, an all-in-one Tedder and Winrower, the Vermeer 1224, Available from American Eagles Modding. The link will be in the comments down below. So, um, thank you for watching Ducks All Gaming and another mod review. And we shall see you again very, very soon. Thanks very much. Bye.